Uh, I'm pretty sure in this game it just goes off of your sword skill, right? It's not a, um... Sometimes Massa is a knife, technically, which is weird. But, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a sword sword. We'll let Furion use it. Leon's got the Excal, that's all he gets. How's Furion, or Leon doing? Well, he did get evasion times four and magic times seven. He started, he starts three multiplier on both of them, so he's getting there. It, it's a slow grind, but everyone else is like <laughs> maxing out M defense. How does anyone ever get turned to stone when you've got 11 times 99% magic defense? Jeez. All right, let's see this dumb sword. All this backtracking. All right, well, 2,000 damage is pretty good. I guess you can't argue with that. And uh, we could do more. Um, you want to max it out. It looks like it's less, but you two-handed instead of dual wielding, and your primary hand always does more damage, so if we don't miss, this will do more. Yeah, over 2,000 is pretty good. And, you know, that's only at weapon rank 11, at uh, weapon rank 10. Uh, we could get six more hits if we wanted. Well, I say that. It's actually very easy to get six more hits because, uh, magic. Well, I say that. It's actually even easier to get six more hits. Because... <laughs> I just want to see how much damage the Mazda can do. You can't play. So that would be 11 more hits, but split up around four people. So... Three each, maybe? Might round it down to two each? AoE buffs, not very good. Okay, so he's at least plus three, because he's at ten normally, and then the AoE haste has given him at least four more. Interesting, interesting. So haste 11, maybe it cuts it in half and gives everyone plus five or something, and we've just been missing once or twice. Ah, uh, wrong way. I'm actually kind of curious how they do the math for this. It does seem like he's getting plus four, though. Also, thanks for the, uh, the, uh, the super chat there, Jason. So he's hit 14 times in a row pretty reliably. Um, that's not bad, but we can do better by single targeting haste 6. If that's what you're into. So if you want to see maximum deeps, single target haste 6, which is better than AoE haste 11. Bam, 4,000 damage. If only Aura worked. If only Aura worked. It would be so good. So this will give him a lot more physical damage. Thanks, guy. Gotta go die. Still only 4,000. I wonder if we've hit the damage cap. There might be a maximum damage per swing that we're running into. <laughs> because... The damage did not go up after we got berserked. That's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, it's doing the same amount, approximately. Huh. I wonder, what, what are we... 194? Yeah. It's possible that whatever attack value maximum, we're basically there. And then casting Berserk doesn't really add much, or any. That would be a kind of disappointing. I guess it's fair, but... It makes magic even worse, once again. This game always making magic worse. Alright, now I do want... Remember, one of my final goals before we get to the end of the game is to get... <laughs> Guy's knife skill up to level 11 like everybody else. I don't want to leave him behind, so take a drink. I think he's like 75% of the way to level 11, so hopefully this Mithril Golem will be enough. 
we could try to run into an iron giant, but uh, their encounter rate is pretty low. Magic pots. If only we had some magic pots. Anyway, I would say he's got a pretty good chance of fighting long enough. So, Pixel, if you're still watching, that is how you get weapon XP. By having one person fight, and then suddenly he's got almost a level up with, with his knife skill. He needs, like, two more ticks of experience. If we just do random encounters, though, he'll never get it. So you've got to do, uh... You gotta do that kind of weird grindy thing. It's uh, I don't know. Elixirs. Who needs elixirs? We've got a few, but they're kind of. I'm saving them for the final boss. Just gotta save them up. Yeah, you can get experience slicing up guy. That's fine. Actually, no. I think the confuse would wear off pretty quick. It would be interesting if you could keep one of your characters long-term permanently confused and then they would just physically attack the rest of the group. That would be a nice way to grind up uh, some stats, actually. I wonder if there's a way you could set, you could set that up. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna kill the back row one. Actually, there's a much easier way. Uh, Pixel, have you ever seen magic do damage in Final Fantasy 2? Because you're about to. 3,000 damage. It's about as good as I can make magic. And it's still bugged as all get out. Even though we can technically make magic damage work, it's still not working correctly. It's so annoying. But yeah, Guy almost had a knife level up. So even if this goes a little bit quick on the Mithril Golem, I'm pretty sure this will do it. And then we can, maybe we can stop talking about grinding at this point? I don't know. I always like to grind, but I need to finish this game at some point. I think I'm pretty much set on Final Fantasy 2 being my least, my personal least favorite of the 1 through 10 Final Fantasies. And it's not even to say that it's bad, it's just, the, the, the leveling magic system is just the worst of the batch, basically. As unique as it is, I would prefer any of the other systems to this one. And I thought they were going to fix it with the remaster. I hoped they would refix it. They did not. Uh, reflect does not reflect magic. The wall spell gives you a small chance. This is still the wrong room, sorry. <laughs> the wall spell gives you a small percentage chance to block a spell affecting the target. It mostly does nothing. Like, 99% of the time, no effect. The barrier spell, essentially the barrier spell gives you the ribbon effect. So we will want to put the barrier on people that don't have ribbons for boss fights. I, It doesn't come up very often. And we've got two ribbons, which give you full immunity anyway. Uh, and I actually have Aegis Shield, so I've got three people effectively with status immunity. So Guy is the only one that needs us to cast the barrier spell, which effectively replaces a, a ribbon, but only at level 8 and higher. Well, they didn't, you know, you gotta remember the times, right? They didn't invent uh, reflecting spells until the Super Nintendo. <laughs> oh, I guess Furion can go back to dual wielding. I just wanted to see how the massive did. Um... Diamond Mace? No, Holy Lance. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. And then, now that that's there, we go Rune Axe and Cat Claws. Oh, Guy was doing less damage because he had the Cat Claw in his offhand as well. He could have done more damage with it in his main hand. Alright, there we go. We got Sword, Axe, Knife, Bow, Sword, again, Spear. We're just, I'm not using Maces. They're not, they're just, they're not cool. I don't know. They're not cool. Yes. I need to get to the teleporter. There we go. We 
Well, I would say a lot of people never finish Final Fantasy 2 or 3, honestly. For a variety of reasons. And you can tell the encounter rate. Haha. -ha. That's def This is my Iron Golem, or my Iron Giant room. I have fought two Iron Giants, like, two steps from this chest. I would like to fight one more Iron Giant, but I have a feeling we're not going to get lucky. I guess we could get- wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. There's one person that doesn't have their main weapon at level 11. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try one more encounter by this chest in hopes that we get another Iron Giant. Just for Furia. I'm not gonna- we're not gonna spend very long. The mobile versions, I kind of feel like they don't count. They generally made things different and easier. Generally. Alright, that's it. No Iron Giant today. Goodbye. I tried. Oh! Worth it! Alright. Remember when I said we needed to cast Barrier on people? Can't forget that. No, no Barrier required. That is two... In the course of the game, we've now had two Ribbon Drops, and that's all you need. Because Age of Shields and a free Ribbon in a chest. I mean, I guess if we get another one, I'll give it to Leon and he won't need the Aegis Shield anymore, but... Hey. Hey, TV, what are you doing? How do I know that... <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't see my streaming monitor. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Everything's still working, good. The Massa has a nice little sound effect too. I think I said this every time, but they do add like a custom ching sound for the Massa that none of the other weapons get. It's, it's definitely still there, so I appreciate that. Alright, we just gotta dodge some encounters and get to the boss now. You know, just listen close when Furion gets a turn. I think uh, as tough as the team is, Mithra Golem still have too much defense. <laughs> Alright, so... If we stop messing around and just take the shortest direction, it shouldn't be too bad here. And who wouldn't want a spare ribbon? Oh, right, a thunder. I guess I'll do a, number, a gear check once we get to the boss, just to make sure I'm happy with my equipment. But I think we've got a pretty good setup. Probably better than I've ever done, just because, uh, I didn't understand apparently how, well, I don't know if this version is the same as previous versions for the actual um, magic effect, crit, or magic damage effect with armor, sort of, whatever we're calling that interaction, but I think for this version, now that I've learned mostly how magic armor, magic and armor go together, this might be one of the better builds I've come up with for, you know, actually being able to use good weapons and still deal lots of magic damage. Maybe not the maximum defense, but who needs defense, really? Yeah, like 8,000 hit points. The worst thing they can get us is status effects like insta-death, and most people are immune to most of that, so... It would be nice to get Furion to level 11 swords, especially because he's got the best weapon, but... I don't know if it's gonna happen. We need something that has a lot of defense for me to be able to grind against it with a Massa.
Uh, what's the direction? I'd say this way is a bit quicker. Maybe, maybe one less encounter going this direction. Not bad. I wonder what else those, uh, I should, I think when we're done, once we, um, once we finish the game, maybe, maybe not on the video, but for the, for the live tubers that stick around, maybe we'll have a little look at the bestiary and, um, we'll see what cool drops you could theoretically farm if you were more hardcore than I am. And maybe we'll do that mini game on the, uh, the, the, uh, snow fields or whatever. Just for the achievers. Well, it actually hasn't taken that long to get back to where we were. We're pretty much there. It took longer to get into the room and find the right hole to get the Massa, but now that you got it, you know. Uh, left. I wonder if this room is supposed to be reminiscent to, uh, the maze floor in the Flying Castle in the FF1. You know, where it repeats, there's basically a 4x4 four four grid that you have to work your way through. This one doesn't cycle around, but it's got all those pillars in the middle kind of thing, you know. Kind of reminiscent. But then you'd need a Bridge of Destiny with a War Mech on it next. Death Idol, I mean... We probably already got one, I guess. Sure. Oh, the fear... It's not even the death effect, it's just the fear effect. The uh, item magic's pretty bad in this game. All right, guys, level 10 for the second time. I guess curing is kind of a moot point, but um, there you go. And uh, you know, just in case, we've been storing these up for the whole game. Better go into the boss fight at max MP, right? And I could have bought, oh what, these are about 50,000 gold each, uh, 20 per million, so I could buy about 60 of these if I wanted. <laughs> That on its own basically makes any boss fight free if you have infinite elixirs, but... At least the ba- uh, the, the, the enemy, or the... The encounter background on this floor is really nice. So we get to see it a little bit longer with some random ice guy, I guess. Definitely enjoy the uh, artwork for this game. The, um... The general... Animation and audio quality, very nice. You've braved the bowels of hell to meet me, but the hand of man which deals in false justice and blah blah blah, kill him. At least last time we had to travel back in time, this time we just had to go to hell. Quick save state. <gasps> the music died! The game is gonna crash on us. They still haven't fixed it, guys. You think there's there's probably a quick save at the uh, the entrance to this dungeon, right? Yeah. I thought they were patching. I thought they were fixing this. One second. Apparently, they haven't fixed whatever's causing the music to stop and then the game to crash. That was the first time in FF2 that we've had that happen, but it did happen back in Final Fantasy 1 at one point in the pixel remaster. So, I give it, you know, in terms of stability, definitely loses a point. At least they were smart enough to give you auto saves every floor so that when it inevitably crashes, you uh All right. Oh, oh good. We got to fight the ice ice guy guess one more time. <laughs> Wouldn't want to fight the boss without an ice guy guess getting in your way. I don't think there should be enemies on this floor. It's just dumb. <laughs> Let it just be me and the boss facing off, right? Does he really want a bunch of bombs flying around in his throne room? Oh, I didn't heal up Leon. Sure. You know what, Leon? 
haven't have I even used potions this whole game? 100, huh? What about high potions? 500. Well, that's not too bad. All right, blah blah blah. Let's not crash on the final boss the second time. There we go. Now we've got music. And we got the same meteor attack. How bad was it? Eh, pretty weak. I have a feeling compared to Chaos in the Pixel Remaster, this guy is going to be a pushover. But I just want to listen to the music for a little bit, because... Let's just do a round of regular combat, see how we look. Yeah, that's pretty weak. Pretty weak. That's the winner, Massa again. Excal. Zero from the Excal, dang. So basically having the Holy Lance equipped does literally nothing. Uh, let's take another swing. Um, oh, let us begin. Uh, let's unequip the Cat Claw because they also did effectively nothing. We'll see if the Rune Axe on its own can do a bit of damage. And I think uh, Leon is uh, sitting this one out because uh, he did zero damage. 420, a little better. 350, so actually the Rune Axe is in the lead right now. Hmm. We'll speed up that animation a little bit. But that 240 damage is never going to kill us. I mean, I've got lots of spells. Let's put uh, Blink on Leon because he's got really low evasion multiplier. And then I can keep buffing people up while we're messing around. You can multi-target them, but they get smaller effects, so, yeah. But Leon needs a little bit of, uh, physical evasion, maybe. There you go, 580 on the guy. Dispel! That would suck if that hit. Uh, any other white magic? I was thinking barrier, but everyone has status protection right now. Um... Protect for physical defense doesn't... I don't know, we'll see. If someone takes a ton of damage, maybe. Actually, let's see how Ultima does. That's probably fun. We've got this spell. It's designed to kill the Emperor. A thousand damage. Just pierces right through, right? A thousand damage isn't too bad. Let's, uh, any other cool spells to try out? Holy, that'll work. <laughs> Yeah. I bet you Guy, now that he's fully buffed, will be pretty good. Yeah, 900. He's about an Ultima per turn. I guess Ultima's better because you don't have to buff up for it. So instead of really focusing on melee, you could just have a White Mage stay in the back row and cast Ultima. That'd be pretty good. Alright, so Furion's hasted and berserk, right? See how he does, and uh, we can try Aura. I don't think it's going to do anything. It has failed us in this version. We're doing about a thousand damage. Mass is doing about 1600 damage. I think you could punch for a lot more. And I suppose now is about the time that we check out one other gimmick. Alright, pull out your trick. Let's see if it works. Yeah, Aura didn't do nothing. There's no way. Yeah, it's still stupid. Alright, Leon. Finish him. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's like a secret weakness, but uh... Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of glad they didn't patch it out, but on the other hand, it's like... Did they need to leave it in? So the boss can't kill us, effectively, is what I'm seeing here. Um, I don't know if I ordered him. It doesn't really matter. I have a feeling the boss dies on the next attack. This is way easier than Chaos, and I... It, we would need to have, like, a thousand hit points for this to be even remotely dangerous. If you had two thousand hit points, this is easy. Right? But... I mean, I don't know. We could try, uh... I bet you Flare will kind of suck. 
but I'll try it out because, like I said, I'm pretty sure he's going to die now. Eh, 800. No! <laughs> Maria! You stole it! I was going to go for the 9999 kill. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to see how Flair did. <laughs> Alright, he was pathetic. That was completely useless. Sorry, Emperor, you are the weakest final boss. Probably the weakest final final boss in Final Fantasy. You just, you suck. The Blood Sword completely trivializes it, and we didn't even need the Blood Sword and it was trivialized. Now, we did end up grinding to a fairly high level, but like, ah. Uh, we did, he, like, one of us could have killed him without any threat. One ribbon. One, 1,000 hit points. Punching for 2,000 damage, I think, if anyone punched, would have also been enough, right? Like, he needed, like, 10 times the hit points and 10 times the damage. Like, really, he needed to be scaled almost 10 times stronger. If he was hitting us instead of for 500, if he was hitting us for, like, 5,000, that'd be like, oh, no, that's dangerous. But it's not even close. <laughs> all right, all right. You killed him, yada, yada, yada. Cashwan is still around, I guess, sure. I didn't, I didn't notice an, uh, an achievement for getting all the treasure. I think I missed something. And I definitely didn't finish the bestiary, but that's a hard one to finish. You realize what you've done? Now who am I going to steal from? Like you! Haha! <laughs> we did have like 3 million gold, but now we do not. Thanks, Paul. Well, fourth party member that survived. Good job, Layla. All the other fourth party members died, so, uh... You're the survivor. See ya. Get out of here. Well, wait, I guess Gordon's alive too. So two people survived as a fourth party member. Yeah. Everyone remembers Nellie. She's, uh, Joseph's daughter. Yeah. See ya. Oh, look. The ghost of Joseph haunts her still. <laughs> Excellent. All right. I guess she's just been adopted by Hilda or something. Sure. There was some girl that moved into Joseph's house and just sort of took over. I don't know if they just ditched her, I guess. War over. Yes. We can live together. No. We are not friends. We may be brothers, but I am now the Black Knight and I am evil. There's no saving me. Put my mask back on and leave without me as this... Death Star explodes. He'll be back as a ghost, don't worry. Oh, speaking of ghosts, all the dead guys, but you'll have to play the Dawn of Souls remake to see what happened to them. That's not in this version. Yep, time to go. <laughs> see ya. All right, there terrible font has returned and the struggles are over the emperor literal hell monsters just disappeared because we took down the emperor of hell ah but the music just sit back and enjoy the music guys that's all that really matters A band of young heroes let another band of heroes die, but did save the world in the end, technically. Good for them. And they didn't even have to do a time loop to do it. Alright. And that will be basically the end for the future tubers, because we know that the credits takes about an hour. <laughs> Not a literal hour, but it takes forever. The, there's far too many people in the credits, and I don't think there's any way to skip it. There's no fast-forward credit button, which one of the things this game should have would be some kind of fast-forward. That would be preferred. But anyway, for the future tubers, sort of to wrap things up here while we're getting a bit of credits uh, before I end it. Um, Final Fantasy II Pixel Remaster. I give it a... 
Well, I'm not giving it a numerical score. I'm not, I'm not playing that game. But I, I enjoyed it. Uh... I really wish they, for all the good quality of life changes they made, like, they really have improved a lot of, like, the auto battle is definitely very helpful. The, um, you, you know, retargeting and stuff that wasn't in the NES version, um, forgetting spells, a, lo a lot of that stuff is nice quality of life. Um, encounter rate still too high, um, but that was in the original, so okay, they kept that. Magic grinding way too slow way 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 too slow. They should have they should have doubled or tripled the magic experience easily doubled or tripled it uh, Weapon experience is maybe okay. I wish they'd sort of balance it differently But like you can get to level 8 or 9 weapon XP pretty easy. That's fine And it's good enough. You don't need to be level 11 to beat the game fine, whatever I wish it was a little differently designed, but I'm not gonna gripe about the weapons too much um, Punching still too strong the balance between like physical evasion, evasion multipliers, shields, not shields, that still feels a little off to me. So it's it, that's why I don't like this Final Fantasy as much as the other ones. It doesn't feel very well balanced. You're either way too strong or way too weak. You do zero damage to the enemy or you kill them in one hit. There's very little middle ground. So the damage versus survivability, the same thing with the enemy. They either kill you with a thousand damage hit and you're dead or they do 10 damage and you have a thousand HP, right? Like the balance doesn't really feel fluid. Now I was a little overpowered by the end of this run, don't get me wrong, but that was because I was trying to level up magic. If I hadn't spent all the time leveling up magic, we would have had maybe 4,000 hit points at the end instead of 8,000. We would have had less multipliers on our evasion and magic defense. We would have had less agility, less strength, all that stuff. But I don't think it matters, because I don't think your attributes really change anything. Like, I'm not sure your intelligence and spirit apply properly to your spells. And there's this weird formula in the background for what you equip that decreases the effectiveness of your magic. And that sucks, because you don't know how it works. But, okay, it's like, as a mechanic, yeah, it's fine. But they don't tell you it, so a, a hidden mechanic is bad. And I still think, for the amount of time it takes to level up your spells, the payoff is not good enough. Uh, if you max your intelligence and equip light armor, light enough armor, whatever it is, and also have the magic levels to be powerful, and you hit an enemy that's weak to the element, we could do 3,000 damage. That was awesome. But that's a lot of grinding, and you have to get fire, ice, thunder, scourge to level 7, 8, 9, or whatever, or else it won't work because you need to have the correct element and everything has to be built up correctly. Most of the other spells were pretty terrible, um, but the elemental damage spells, they did work, but it was difficult to get them to work. Uh, I think the aura spell was completely bugged, as far as I could tell. Uh, Berserk and Protect and Blink, it's hard to say. Uh, I think they work, but it's really hard to judge. Um, I don't like that you have to grind Basuna and Asuna to level 5 and 6 to have them actually work. I. It's fine, but it takes too long before they actually do what you need them to do. Uh, and a lot of the status effect spells are just trash, so... Overall, magic is a thumbs down. It might be better than previous versions, but it's still not enough for me. I, I think it needs to level up. Like, not like I think even double speed would be too slow. It needs, like, five times speed or something. Um, but yeah, so magic, eh, weapons, whatever. Uh, overall, it's the same game. You know, the same story, same progression, all that. I'm not gonna talk about that. That didn't change, but, uh, yeah, overall, you know, I wouldn't say it's bad, but I wouldn't say it's as good as the other Final Fantasies, basically, and, uh, I just wish they'd, they'd improve some of the, the background math a little bit better. It, you know, they spend a lot of time adding in-game descriptions. There's a tutorial when you start the game. One screen pops up with a little bit of a tutorial. There's a lot more, like, those little cutscenes where the game map specifically pans over to the where you're supposed to go next, right? The game, certainly the developers were trying to make the game more accessible to, to new players so that it's easier to figure out where to go, how things work. So given they were doing that, like, why didn't they add a screen somewhere that's like, okay, your magic effectiveness with your armor is at, I don't know, 90%, 20, 10%, I don't know. I, I actually think it's bugged, like, I think the math doesn't work correctly, so it's really hard to figure out. But even if it did work, there should be somewhere you can see how it, what's happening. But, um, you know, overall, that's kind of my general feeling. Good, but I wish they'd done better. And, uh, 
that's kind of the end of it. So for the future tubers, um, would I recommend this? Only if you liked the original and wanted more music and nicer animations. Unless you've played the original Final Fantasy 2, either NES or Dawn of Souls, I, it's going to be a tough game for a new player, I think. I would definitely say go play FF1 instead, so far. I haven't gone past these two, right? But uh, I would say the Final Fantasy 1 is an easier intro by a long shot, because everything works logically, and uh, spells do what you expect them to do. They, As far as I know, there was no bug spells in the Final Fantasy 1 Pixel Remaster. I'm still not very happy with the, the stability of the game. Uh, I've played through Final Fantasy 1 now, and I've played through Final Fantasy 2 now. Both have had a music disappearing game crash in a single playthrough. That's a little bit discouraging, but at least there's autosave, but... Mm, come on guys, come on Squaresoft, you know, Square Enix... You know, fix your bugs. You want to... You want people to buy the game, don't have it with crashes, you know. Anyway, future tubers, thanks for hanging out. Live tubers and I are going to watch these credits for another half hour. And then we're just going to test out the, uh, I'm going to see if I can get the full, uh, I'm going to see what I've missed for my, um, 100% items, 100% bestiary, but it's nothing that we need for the future tubers, so. Future tubers, I'll see you back for the next Final Fantasy, one day.